Calgary Flames need a captain, want a captain, going to have a captain. Apparently, uh, Connie and Huska and management is going to make the decision on a captain. We had uh, Rob Kerr's show yesterday, just a game. Jack was uh, with him asking some questions from the fans. And, and the captain conversations become a little more prominent because Mackenzie Weger in the last few days noted that he would love to be the captain. Here was the, a little snippet from just a game yesterday with, with Kerr and, uh, and Jack. I think we'll be the captain of the Flames. And who do you want to be the captain of the Flames? Backland, I want, and I and I, I wonder if he won't be the captain. Boy, did you see a lot of this Mackenzie Weger stuff? Yeah, a lot of people like lots of people hyping that up. Lots of people like, and I don't think that's a bad choice. I think you know you got some tenure there. It makes a lot of sense. Backland has put in the time. Backlund loves this team, loves the city, loves the logo. Yes, yes, yes. I know he was in the in the Swedish newspaper saying, we'll so wait and see and all of that. That's just common sense. That all that is. That's just good business. But Michael Backlund's ingrained in this community, supports three different charities in this community. He has uh, worked and cobbled at the feet of Jerome McGinley, at Mark Giordano, Um I think he should be the captain, but it's a two-part question. I think it, he should be the captain. I'm going to go with, I wonder if Mackenzie Weger isn't the captain because you have him for four more years after this. But I think both are both are good choices. Both, I think it was an absolute shame. I, I just think it's a mistake not to have a captain. Yeah. And and Backlund was acting as that last year. I don't care what anybody says. He was the de facto, one of the de facto captains on this team. So I was Curry yesterday, uh, Jack, relaying some uh, listener questions to him. Just uh, any reaction, a uh, thought on that? Are there other candidates we're not talking about? We should be. Uh, is this cast a wide net? Do they already know the couple, two, three, four guys they're looking at? I'm sure they've got it narrowed down to one or two. Uh, in response to Rob, uh, I like back from two. Problem for me, I've said I can't change my tune now. You either are or you aren't. And Michael Backlund's had a few years now to establish that he is. And I don't think – to me, there's obvious – to me, a coach, does, a coach, maybe it does happen. I've never seen it, but I don't think a coach holds the captaincy back from a guy. Do you know what I mean? If you truly yeah. are the captain, it's been a few years now, you could have grabbed the reins. Or, the, or you just are recognized as captain and the players are – then it would have. So I just don't think he's there. Why hasn't it happened yet? That sounds like exactly what you're like it. Yeah. he's been around forever. And yes, he's done all those things. And yes, he's integral in the community. He gives back. He's everything Rob said for sure. But if you're the captain, it, it just happens. It's announced right by now. You don't need Con you, you certainly shouldn't need Conroy and, and Huska to have to make that decision. The players should be making the decision. And I don't know enough yeah. about Uyghur personally. He's been here a year. He was horseshit to start, really turned it around, saying the right things. Looks like he's getting involved. Looks he's taking on the role of a leadership. I mean, well, what the hell are we talking about? He's come to Calgary to go party for Stampede and, and do a charity event. Like, I, I don't know. Does that make him the captain? It's the guys in the room that should be deciding, not the coaches. Yeah, I, I talked to people that were real close to the team. Backlund was sort of the guy that I think a lot of people wanted to to be that last year, and and why Who they wanted, didn't have a though? captain. I don't know that. Well, what's that? Who wanted though? Like the players wanted the players. Him to be a yeah. Well, why then? Why wasn't yeah. he the captain the year before? I don't know. Or the year I, before I, that? That's a good question. I I, I don't have answers for it. Like uh, Daryl took over this team when Jordana was the captain. Gio left via the expansion draft. Um, and then uh, Daryl's first year, they went no captain. And I understand that. And then his second year, you had even more changes. And they said, no captain. And I, I don't, we never got a great, here's why we're not doing a captaincy thing. Or it might just have been as simple to Daryl that I don't see a leader here who is a capital C captain. And so we're going to, you know, not anoint anyone that. But I have a problem with Backlund getting it if he doesn't have an extension in place. And I'm not suggesting that um, 
I just think it would be clunky if, if you're out of the playoffs. He's your captain. Bolson. He's Mr. Community, and then you trade him at the deadline. Like, yeah, I, what, are you, hate, what are we doing I here? I hate both scenarios with that. First yeah. of all, I think the players should pick the captain. I don't think. What the yeah. difference does it make to the coaches? And the, the coaches and the management should have to work with the captain that the players dominate because he's the leader in yeah. the room. The coaches yeah. and the, the management shouldn't be nominating a guy to be captain. It's it's backwards, mm -hmm. in my opinion. What you yeah. said is true as well. If he is, and again, I'm not against Backlund, but if he was the guy, then fuck, the players should have went in and said to the coach, Daryl, whoever else, this is our captain. It shouldn't be a debatable yeah. thing, and it and it shouldn't, again, be Huska and Conroy deciding. Here's the vote in training camp. Who's the captain? You're the captain. Great. But and my that, feel is that, that, okay. Go ahead. Sorry. I don't. I don't. Sorry. I just wanted to finish that. I don't want to reward Michael Backton with an extension if he's only because you're naming him captain. Yeah, or vice versa. I don't. I well, I guess vice versa. I might accept if he wanted to sign an extension below market because he really wanted to be captain, and you already have him as your captain. I'm okay with that. But the opposite, I don't like. Ah, he's the closest thing we have to a real leader here. So yeah. let's give him two more years of too much money. No, 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 no. Um, that, that's not how this is going to work. And, and for Uyghur, I'm kind of with you. I, I think you, you've seen, okay, what he wore the C for team Canada, if I'm correct, at the world championships this past summer, that's not nothing. It certainly isn't being a captain in the NHL. It's a three week tournament, not a seven month season. Uh, and I don't know the human well enough. I, I certainly think there are some leadership traits in there. Uh, he sticks up for his teammates. He works hard, but I don't know the guy off the ice and we haven't seen him in the community long enough for me to say like, oh, for sure that guy's a captain. And then I also wonder about like, okay, there's some younger guys that have been around a while. Like where does Rasmus Anderson fit in all this? Do you see, is there That's another guy quietly that leads uh, like by example that, that, that maybe we aren't talking about? I, I don't know. I mean, but I, I, I get also get the sense that the players and Connie and Huska, if these two groups, I don't think they're singing from the different hymn books. I, I think Huska being around that team last year would have known who actually was the guy and who the players would want to be. I don't know that they're throwing a curveball to the players, right, where they're saying, hey, you guys all like Backlund? Screw that. It's Uyghur because Uyghurs, we got them in our pocket. No, I don't I, think that's I, happening. I don't think that's happening either, but f don't muddy the waters. Let the players pick. Come to training camp. What the fuck do you need to announce? Sorry, I'm grumpy today. I didn't get enough sleep. I'm reading this new book. So keep me up all night. But what what do you need to announce it today for? Because you need positive you media yeah. vibe right now. Because you haven't done horse shit over the year or over the summer. Like we don't need it. Players come to or or the fact that they are saying they're picking is wrong to me. Shut up. We don't yeah, say yeah. that. Just announce it first of all, or mm -hmm. phone your players and say who's your captain. Or do a monkey. This is, it's off season. One of those survey things. I can't you fill out those yeah, monkeys. Yeah. Survey monkey. There, there you are. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Why did I have so to pick many, one? Let's go, guys. Yes. There's so many ways of doing this that aren't clunky, and they're making it clunky.